All right, Capricorn or Capricorn cross watcher. This message is going to be for you guys. I have a vision actually for you. That's what I'm getting. So we're gonna get an entire message out of this vision that I'm getting. So I sat here for a second and I'm like, all right, what are we getting for Capricorn? It's different than what I've been getting for Sagittarius and Scorpio. This one, so let me just explain my vision first and then you'll see what I mean. So I see somebody standing almost like in the middle of the woods, okay? It's almost like there's like a cottage or a village in the middle of the woods. It seems more like a village, like a tiny little village. There's definitely people that live there, like a little civilization, okay? And uh, there's been like a traveler in some way. Like this person is not part of this village. They're an outsider, but they were definitely welcomed. I mean, I don't, I didn't see anybody like fighting this person. I'm still seeing the vision. Although I'm seeing the end of the vision, I'll get there. <laughs> but I'm going back into the, how it started and I didn't see anything like they were definitely welcomed. Okay. They were like, yeah, I'm seeing a welcome mat. Like you are welcome here. You are family and maybe even someone, uh, here welcome someone in their home or made someone feel welcome in some way like no you're very welcome you're, you're definitely come on in or something like this right or just welcoming somebody in someone's life but anyway let me get back to the vision but then this person like nobody else in the village <laughs> is a smoker because they have like very flammable land like their land is definitely not where you want to smoke and even the fires that they have in my vision that they cook with are very well contained okay so this person although they're a guest in this village's life you'll say in the civilization's life they're a guest and they should abide by the rules or at least be respectful of these people or a particular person who kind of runs the shit they're not and they light up a cigarette right and while everybody's sleeping nobody's paying attention everybody's because they're comfortable with this individual they're very comfortable they're, they're like hey you know it's fine it's fine I'm comfortable with this person I'm not worried they're gonna like light a cigarette you know what I mean of course they're gonna they would never do that they would never hurt me you know anyway and then what does the person do well they're smoking a cigarette in my vision okay and they put it out but they don't like put it out before they put it out. They put it out by throwing it down and fire, fire, but they don't realize the fire has started yet and that there's like this little ember. They don't realize it. They start walking because they're like, I don't know what they're doing in my vision, but they just start walking away from the village. It seems as if they're going on like a little trip, like they're not expecting to be gone long or even at all. They're just kind of like checking out the fucking scenery or something. But either way, they turn back around and realize the whole entire fucking village is on fire. And they're like, oh, did I do that? You know, oh, that's what I'm going to title it. <laughs> did I do that? Y'all remember that from Family Matters? Yeah, this could affect a whole family. Could be a family be a family situation but why would it be a family situation though if somebody was an outsider maybe somebody was maybe this is like in-laws or something there's something to do with family here okay it's not for everybody but maybe it's like steps stepchildren step parents that's something all right could have something to do with family because i've seen family matters right isn't that the one where he goes did i do that steve urkel steve steven <laughs> hold on oh my god did I do that? Steve Urkel. Family Matters. That's gonna be the damn title. Yes, yeah, so yeah, yeah, the fuck you did. Yeah, you did. You know you did. So I feel like here's the thing. I'm gonna say this to somebody on the outside of you. Feel free to reverse this, but for Capricorn or Cross Watcher. Somebody here did something that basically they knew they really didn't have the place to be doing that. They know that they shouldn't have done what they did. They crossed the line in some way. They absolutely disrespected you, disrespected your family, disrespected a member of your family, disrespected you as a member of the family. Like they did something, okay? And then they turn back around and realize like shit's blowing up. Like, oh, now you no longer want them in your village or civilization. You never want them at your house or even in your life. You don't even want to be friends anymore. You don't want to be a friend of the family anymore. Like you don't want to be close. 
You don't want this person around you anymore. You gave them one opportunity and you have people to protect. Maybe this has something to do with somebody's children too. And it's like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. It's something to do with children or family, I'm telling you. I feel it very strongly. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what somebody did here. But either way, <laughs> it caused a scene. It caused a scene or it was just extremely fucking disrespectful. And now that it's blowing up or that it blew up, if this is past tense, they could have still done the right thing, right? Vice versa. This is somebody that could have still been like, hey, I was wrong back there. I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably shouldn't have acted the way that I did. I probably shouldn't have disrespected your, you know, situation or your kid or my kid or whatever, whoever, right? I probably shouldn't have overcrossed the line. That's that's more for you to deal with. You know, I probably should have kind of, you know, stayed in my own lane. Like, you know, I am in your territory to, do, you know what I'm saying? Like I should have, could have, would have, but they don't do that. That would have helped a little. I mean, even though the village is still going to burn down and we're still going to have some fucking problems to talk out and work out and shit. What happens? Nothing. They don't do shit, right? This is someone who does not do the right thing. Instead, they're just sitting there watching it. Literally still watching. This is someone who still is 100% watching. Like, thinking and thinking, you know, I could go back and I could try to make something right. But, but they also feel like, no, I feel like you should make something right. Well, I probably can't because I'm over here burning. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I, I just get this vibe here. Y'all get where I'm going with this. I get this vibe that somebody here is really the reason. I mean, it always takes two, you know, but not necessarily. Sometimes it don't. Sometimes somebody does cross the line, does say something out of line or very like personal or just you let them into your inner circle and they think that they can just kind of be the boss or they think that they can do their own things, you know? And it's like, no, actually you can't. Would you like it if I did this in your village? Would you like this if I talked to your children like this or your family like this? Would you like this if I did this? This is the vibe. Is Capricorn or Crosswatcher is saying, I'm not moving one damn bit. Now I gotta pick up and clean up the mess that you just made. And I'm definitely not leaving who I was first loyal to, or my village, my people, my family, my kids. I'm not doing that. So while I'm over here taking care of this, I don't have to fight you. I don't want to fight you. I never even wanted shit with you. I just wanted you to respect boundaries here, just like I respect yours. And we could agree to disagree. And, you know, there could be our, we could even have our own issues and things and whatever. But, like, you handle it with me. Like, you don't burn my whole fucking village down. Or you definitely don't come to the mo most innocent people. Something like that here, right? I know this is, is this going, is this resonating? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? This is very specific. And I don't know. I just feel like you guys are like, you know. But um, at the end of the day, now you've. Like you've caused really what this is now and now we don't have a connection and we're not going to but instead what is this person doing like it's almost like a standoff but very distant like a distant standoff I feel like you and another person are energetically standing off and it's it's basically this person saying I don't I will not ever approach you again I will never try to let you back in my life um, I'm not holding a grudge against you I'm not even really angry at you but if we ever talk again, I will tell you I think you were in the wrong. I don't think you were. I know you were. And um, I just think that you probably didn't handle things the right way and you could have um, handled it a lot better than you did. I also know people aren't perfect, but it seems like because you don't even care, like at this point, I never want you back. Like I don't even want to have any connection with you and um, I'm done with it, right? This is you watching this video, unless it's reversed and it's cross watcher. And then the other person who started this shit, who really is the reason that the connection is no more. Okay? Like, they started the fucking forest fire, ultimately. They're just watching. In whatever way somebody's watching, I'm itching all of a sudden, so this is confirmation. In whatever way somebody is just watching, you can watch people in a million ways. If it's a neighbor that this happened with, <laughs> they're watching. If it's somebody at work, they're watching. If it's an ex, they're watching. If it's an old friend, they're watching. If it's a family member, they're watching. I mean, they watch, you know? And they're just kind of, like, not doing anything. And my thing is, like... I mean, I can literally still see the vision. I can see somebody just standing there, and I see the fire in their eyes. It's almost like somebody who's not taking responsibility for the reason that something burned down the way that it did. The reason that a connection is no more... 
or could never move forward or something like that it's because of one person's behavior and their disrespect it feels like disrespect and somebody else got that earlier but i don't know who it was maybe it was aries and their bonus or maybe it was scorpio but it's like no it's just disrespectful like you know what i'm saying like This could have been handled differently. You could have come to me if you needed to smoke. You could you could have come to me and I'm hearing where there's smoke, there's fire. You you could have come to me, like the leader of the village, right? And addressed the situation and said, Hey, I need a smoke, I need a cigarette, and I would have kindly directed you to a place that was less flammable. But you had to go and blow up what I protect where I keep people safe. We could have we could have had this little conversation about what you wanted to handle elsewhere. But you didn't want to do that. You wanted to take it upon yourself to handle it the way you thought you should handle it, even though there's like an understood rule here. Right? It's like you may be kind, but you're not a fucking pushover. You may be spiritual, but you're still hood. You may be like, you know what I'm saying? You may be like uh, balanced in your light and femininity, but you're like, I'm not that fucking feminine though. Somebody here is like, I'm not even, mm -mm. you know what I mean? I don't want to fight. I don't want any drama, but I also didn't start the fire. You started the fire. <laughs> you started the fire. So I'm not going to approach you or go find you to, you know, like, uh, what do you call that? Like, condemn you for starting this fire like whatever you'll either realize that you were in the wrong or you won't but I also don't have any interest in talking to you ever again let that be known now that's what I feel for your message right what did I write down did I do that like that's what I feel though it's, it's a little bit irritating it's like why is this person just standing there literally like the fire reflecting in their eyes and they're just watching like, that, what, what does this person feel is what I want to know. Does this person feel any responsibility? Like, do they feel any sense of responsibility that maybe they crossed the line or maybe they were a little too rude or maybe that they should have handled something with you instead of maybe a child or children or maybe they should have handled something um, just differently than they've been handling it or then they handled a particular situation to where you're like, no, this is... But so here's the thing. I feel like it's best that people, whoever these are, are like two people who continue staying in their own direction. Like the problem is you're in your fucking direction. You're in your own village trying to rebuild your life. A lot of shit that you didn't even... I mean, you didn't even do, right? It's not that you already didn't have responsibilities to take care of, but now you have even more to do. Okay, so you're sitting here trying to just take care of you and yours, take care of your own, and where you were to begin with. You don't even like fuck with people. You don't even let a whole lot of people in your circle anyway, you know? And maybe this is someone who also claims that they don't do that and, and acts, but it's like obviously you do because you wanted to so badly, and then I open up my heart and my life and my family, same as maybe you did, but then you go and do something that fucking destroys it all. And, and don't tell me it was me that fucking did it. You handled it poorly, and then now you're sitting there watching. No, absolutely not. It's wrong. Absolutely wrong. It's like, and now this person's just like, what are they just going to watch forever and not go create their own life? I feel like if somebody has been on your mind and they have, I don't feel like you're there. I don't feel like they're on your mind. If you're not the one who did wrong here and who stepped out of line, I don't feel like they're on your mind. I feel like you're on their mind. You're not turning around looking at them. You're trying to rebuild your life. You're trying to blow out the fire. You're trying to scoop up the ashes. And not just of this, but of everything else that's gone on in your life. Everything else. You're taking care of your fucking responsibilities. And this person is still, like, they're not in their civilization. They're emotionally still concerned with what you're doing. But not about to take any accountability for it. Not about to take any responsibility. They may even be trying to, like, rationalize it in their mind. Or what's that called? Like, uh... The word's not coming to me. You know where somebody tries to like make an excuse for their actions? Like, well, you know what? If, uh, you know, if, if, if uh, some of your village people wouldn't have stressed me out so much, I wouldn't have had to light a cigarette and burn your whole town down. And it's like, I think it's best that you keep walking. And maybe don't turn around. That type shit. It's like, 
I can think of so many scenarios that this fits, like so many fucking scenarios that this fits. That'll damn near make somebody want to go crazy, especially the person who's like, I don't know, I, did it make somebody feel good to like do what they've done? Did it make somebody feel good to be mean or something? Like, did it make somebody feel good to handle something instead of handling it like an adult? You know, because they fucking didn't. Whatever somebody did here, they were in the wrong, and for some reason they're coming through today. It's like, why did we have to spend the whole message talking about this person? Well, because they're fucking watching. Because they're turning around, seeing your village blow up. I mean, maybe it's doing better now. Maybe you guys are doing better now, and you're, you're not even worried about the situation anymore. The trees done grew their leaves back. I mean, it is springtime. It's becoming that way. You know, things are coming back to life. All is well. None of your people died. You know, everybody's still living and shit. I mean, you got a little smoke inhalation, but it's... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we're picking up the pieces here. And you never wanted this connection to not work out. Whatever it is. A friend, family, whatever. You never wanted this to become a foe. But now, it is a foe. Foe show. Family matters. You know what I mean? Like, family comes first. It's like, yeah, but maybe they were like, yeah, well, my family comes first. It's like, okay, well, I'm not fucking with your family. You came into my village. You fucked with somebody in my village. Or you fucked with my whole village to begin with. You fucked with my village, yo. You fucked with it. With my civilization. When you could have easily just come and step to me, and then I could have fucking handled it. Because I'm the chief of my village. Like, you're the chief of your village. But since you couldn't do that, like, we're done. You know what I mean? So you be mad at me all day and say that like, oh, you're glad you burn it down, but that's fine. Go ahead and think what you think. So here's the thing. Somebody is not about to do the right thing no matter what. And they're basically just sitting back kind of like in, in their pride and ego, which is totally fine. Let them watch, let them observe. And I feel like meanwhile, you're going to rebuild your life. And once you do, the right person who truly is going to respect what you've got going on and really, um, you know, and it makes you wonder. It makes you wonder if this is someone that ever truly ever wanted to have a good connection with you because they could have just handled the situation differently. It's almost like they were never, they were almost a foe the whole time. Like finding any reason to be upset with you. Finding any reason to be mad at you for, you know, have you ever known people like that? Fine. It don't matter what you do. They're going to find any reason not to fucking like you. You know, you didn't call me. You didn't do this. You're not reciprocating. And it's like, wait a second. Are you just coming in my life to like find fault in me? Like, do you, are you just trying to start shit? Do you actually like me here? Are we like actually cool with each other or what? what's going on here? Because I feel like you're actually like a low key fucking hater. Is that what it's been the whole time? Because that's what I feel. I mean, the looks of it now, I think you were a fucking hater the whole time. You know, is that really what it is? Because that's what I'm getting. That's the vibe I'm getting. And if not, you could have fooled me. Because it definitely looks like it. But I'm the bad guy. Right? I'm the bad guy. Well, that's what you were looking for the whole time. That I was the bad guy. What not? Why are you still looking at my village blow up? You know, it's something like that. Anyway, continue focusing on you if this is you guys. <laughs> Alright? Like, focus on your village your family, your civilization, whatever you got going on in your life, your career for sure. You guys are killing it in career. You're fucking killing it, especially my entrepreneurs out there. Even if you just started a new job, whatever whatever you're focused on work-wise is going to be like amazing. It already is amazing. It may even be better than even you feel, you know. It's just, it just seems like you're constantly rebuilding, doesn't it? But that's because you keep allowing too many people in your corner who don't really have your best interests at heart. They don't. They want to be you is the problem. They want to be you and they want to beat you. That's what it is, okay? They slow you up and slow you down, and then they burn down your whole village and everything you worked hard for, or they distract you from what you're working on. No more. Fo continue focusing on you. you you've got this shit, I'm telling you, especially in your career goals or, like, your dreams, you know? Like, it feels like your goals, dreams, things like that. Family life. Don't work too much, though, to where you, like, neglect your health because that's a problem with me. And I'm just throwing that out there. Somebody needs to know, like, don't neglect your health because then how are you going to make all this money and all the success and make your dreams come true if you're dead? You know, I mean, we're all going to die one day, but, like, you have to take care of you. I mean, you're very important, okay? You have to take care of you. And uh, I would just be even more picky and choosy as if you're not already, though. I mean, it sucks to always have to look over your back, you know? But I'm not saying look over your back. I'm just saying the right people will come in your energy and you won't feel, like, worried 
And that's the thing. In my vision, you weren't worried. Like, you actually got comfortable with somebody and truly believed that, like, but there were fl there were red flags. The fact that they even, that you even knew that they had the potential of possibly starting a, a forest fire to begin with should have been your first clue. But because you cared about this person or maybe they sold it well or whoever this person is, I don't know if they were already in your family. I don't know if it was a somebody like a work person or if it was somebody down the street or if it was someone who claimed they were your friend but then there was like clues right like they always got mad at you for something or they always thought that you weren't there for them or they always threw little hints out and you're like well you're talking about how these people weren't good to you before but am I just going to be the next one you talk about like that like you know what I'm saying it's like those vibes like am I going to be the next one that's awful <laughs> I'm sure I am I'm sure I'll be the next one that's, you know, but like at the end of the day, like you actually are the reason that it ultimately, we're not cool with each other now. You know, could be someone who's just always, they wanted to find fault in you anyway. Like you're not the only one. They want to find fault in everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's just that you opened your heart. I don't know how long I went over. Oh, not bad. Honestly, this message is really good. I think it's basically just like heads up. Heads up and know that somebody's still like uh, eyeing you. They're eyeing you. And this is somebody that could have made something right. Even if it's an ex, guys. This could be like an ex who knows damn good and well. Like, I mean, let them watch. I mean, I literally, I'm still seeing this vision. Somebody with the woods. Somebody may live near the woods or lots of lots of woods or would love to. Like, that's their dream. I got that in your last message, did I not? Something about land and living near woods. But because I see either a painting or actually this being the case, like somebody out in the woods and I'm seeing like eyes in the trees, right? But it's like these person's eyes. It's like their eyes. <sighs> there could also be some sort of like glow in the dark, something that really stands out in the near future to some of you. And that'll be a sign, especially if it's glow in the dark eyes. I don't mean I actually off of an animal, but it could be like maybe the headlights hit something or a flashlight hits something and it's like, oh, we see like animal eyes in the middle of the night, but I get something like glowing at night that you see. I don't care if it's a damn security guard's vest or if it's a reflector on a mailbox. It's something that's going to kind of stand out to you and you're going to be like, I haven't seen that type of glowy reflective or whatever. Just I haven't seen many of those in a while. I haven't seen that in a while or it's not every day I see these eyes going back at me or something, you know, something glow in the dark or reflective, right? Reflective that will really stand out. And that's a sign that this is going on for you and not to worry about it. It's just to inform you <laughs> that this is what's going on. Okay. And uh, you're doing very well. You're doing a lot better than you think you are. I'm telling you right now. And that's why they're watching. Like they thought that like, I don't know. That's just, you just got, you got a lot of jealousy, a lot of jealousy around you, like a lot. I mean, but you had it anyway. I'm telling you, you had it the whole time. Whoever this is, this is why they didn't care. I mean, they didn't respect something regarding you. They didn't respect it. And so it's like, well, clearly they wanted this to happen anyway. Like they, they don't want you to do well. They never truly did. Even if it's somebody who acts like they want it, no, they're jealous of you. And they compare their life to yours. Do you see them going back to a village? Doesn't mean they don't have a village. They very well could, but they were in yours, aren't they? And they're watching yours instead of the one that they have. They're concerned about what's going on with yours. Why would somebody do that? Because they envy it. But they don't like you. He said, it reminds me of that TikTok I saw before. It was like, they don't like you, but they're still watching. It's like that. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you so much. Thank you for being here with me, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.